Welcome to our week four update. For peer review, please check out your peer comments in discussion board. I've been peeking in there and there's some great advice going out. So I hope you have a chance to really examine it carefully. I've decided that if you haven't completed your peer review, I will still give you a couple points through Sunday if you go in there and practice. It's one, it's really great to get to see what other people are doing. And I think peer review, like most skills, gets a lot easier the more you practice it. So you'll get more comfortable over the semester. Um, so get in there, please, and, and give it a try. Quick reminder, major essay one is due on Sunday. And let's see, a couple things that I want to remind you of. I can only leave comments on Microsoft and RTF files currently, so please leave your essay in that format. The main thing I want to remind you about with the format is that it needs to be three full pages in order to hit the assignment. And that means like the bottom of the third page. So that's because there are a certain number of pages required for this class and i've assigned just the minimum minimum number of them so they have to be complete pages in order for you to have fulfilled the english 101 assignment uh, requirements by the end of the semester the other ones are basic mla uh, double space 12 point font times new roman font one inch margins indenting the beginning of each paragraph so don't forget, please turn your paper in on time. You lose 10% of your total paper grade for every calendar day it's late. And I won't accept papers that are more than seven days late. That one is super, super important because if you miss a paper, you won't be able to pass the class. I will give broad comments on partial drafts. So it's typically best to submit your attempt on time, even if it isn't finished. At least it gives us some place to start uh, when we have a meeting and figure out where to go next. So jump in there. There's still a little bit of time to meet with the tutors. They have some time Friday evening and a few hours on Saturday afternoon. So there's still a chance for you to get in there and talk to your embedded tutors. You find the details on their schedule in the embedded tutor area. I'll run my little cursor over here on the left when you log into Blackboard. And then within there, there's a whole embedded document that has uh, the schedule with the details of their hours. So I, if you can, I recommend trying to get in there and getting a little bit last minute feedback on your major essay one before you submit it on Sunday. And here's a pitch to come see me next week. If you're feeling lost, just want to chat about semicolons or have somebody to read your latest poem to, I would love for you to stop by and visit me in office hours. I usually teach and prefer to teach face to face. And so I miss seeing everybody and getting to know you. So please stop by, even if it's just to say hello and show me pictures of your latest kitten or puppy that you adopted. I'm, I'm there for you. If my office hours don't work for you, they're below in the screen. Please set up an appointment. You do that just by emailing me and say, hey, I'd like to meet. Here are some times I'm available in the next couple of days. And I will shoot you back an email letting you know what works for me. And we'll figure out if you want to meet on Zoom or just talk over the phone. So I look forward to getting to talk to you soon. And good luck as you finish up major essay number one.